For this session, you'll need your blue folder and a pen. Please take these out now. During this session, we will review the advising presentation, which has three sections, stop the presentation in between sections to answer questions, and complete the first semester plan. If you are planning to register for classes today, please proceed to the registration room after checking out of the advising session. Academic advisors will be on hand at the registration room for any additional, additional questions you may have. To be a successful college student, you must begin with the end in mind. Consider whether you, your goal is short term, something that can be accomplished in a few days, weeks, or months, such as getting a job, starting school, or what you're going to have for dinner. Maybe your goal is long term, something that can be accomplished over several years, such as earning a certificate, or a degree, or transferring to a four-year college or university. Take a moment to think about your goal and write it down. Going to college will offer you more opportunities and help you to achieve your goals. The placement tests are designed to put you in the most appropriate classes based on your knowledge and performance. Getting the correct placement is the foundation of your success. Students are allowed to take the placement test twice within a 12-month period. Let's break down the results of each placement area. A reading level 5 indicates that you are college ready and not required to take any reading courses. For writing, please refer to the blue sheet, How Do I Read My Test Scores? If you tested lower than a writing level 6, you should plan to retest. Here are some suggested writing courses based on your writing levels. If your writing level is 4, you should register for Writing 117. There is no Writing Level 5, so after a successful completion of this course, which is a 2.5 grade or higher, you will be able to register for a college level writing course. If your writing level is 6, you should register for Writing 121. This basic freshman writing course is required for most LCC programs and is the preferred class for transferring to another college. If your writing level is 7 or higher, you may be eligible to skip Writing 121 and go directly into the second college writing course, such as Writing 122 or English 122. Turn your blue sheet over to review the options for math. Select the math class that best corresponds with your test results and write this down. Keep in mind that all math classes have a writing level prerequisite. You need at least a writing level 2 to register for any math class. Math level 5 is considered college level math at LCC. Students placing at this level should take Math 112. This course is required for most programs at LCC. It is also a necessary course for transfer. However, many transfer schools will require additional math. If you place at math level 6 or higher, speak with an advisor. Your math options will be contingent upon your degree and transfer goals. In summary, students will often take the same first semester courses regardless of degree program transfer. You will hear them referred to as basics or core classes. LCC offers many options to choose from whether you're considering a degree, transferring, or are completely undecided. Let's talk about the differences between these options. LCC selective admission programs often have prerequisites and a competitive application process. Some of these programs include nursing, dental hygiene, sonography, and police and fire academies. Graduates of these programs will earn an associate degree. Students can also work towards a certificate or an associate degree. There are many areas to choose from. C certificates can range from 5 to 30 credits or more. An associate degree is a minimum of 60 credits. Associate degrees may be your ultimate goal or used for transfer. LCC partners with over 30 schools in the state of Michigan. If you think you might transfer to another college, visit the transfer link referenced here. 
Please keep in mind that transfer guides do not exist for every school and every major. The following illustrates a general path for students to follow if there is a chance you will transfer. Now that you have an idea of what you might study, let's put together your schedule. Please take out your yellow sheet titled, First Semester Plan. This is yours to keep and should be used as a guide when you are registering for classes. Your first class should be a writing course. It is a core class and one that will be needed whether you are getting a certificate, associate, or bachelor's degree. Your second course should be a math course. If you did not place into math and have taken the test twice, consider enrolling in the Math Boost program. Your advisor can tell you more about this option. Your third course should be a class in your major. If you are pursuing an associate degree, look at a course on your curriculum guide. If you're going to a health career, take an appropriate science course. If you plan to transfer, consider a social science or humanities course. Be sure to ask questions if you are still unsure about which courses to take. Be sure to see an academic advisor each semester to stay on track with your goals. Here are the steps to completing this advising session. Fill out your first semester plan with information about you and the classes you are planning to take based on this presentation. Present your plan to an academic advisor. The advisor will initial this form if you have selected the correct classes. Take your initial first semester plan to one of the orientation staff members. Our staff will check you out of the orientation on the computer. If you do not check out with a staff member on the computer, you will not get credit for completing orientation and will be required to repeat the session. After checking out of orientation, you are welcome to join us in the registration room if registration is open for this session.